The Love Lines. Only in America. What a crappy show The Love Lines is. Yeah, teenagers calling in to complain about their abortions and their anal warts. <laughs> it's like listening to the messages on Andy Dick's answering machine. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm Adam. I'm Ryan. And this is Two Neighbors. Ryan, what are we watching? Today, we are going to be watching Greg Giraldo, and this is called, or this is basically his best roast. So if you guys know Greg, he passed away a number of years ago, but he was absolutely hilarious and uh, a master roast, right up there with like Jeff Ross and, and those kind of guys. So right. we're gonna check out his best roast moments here. All right, let's check it. All right. Please welcome the hilarious Greg Giraldo! <clears throat> Thank you, Tranny Bonaducci. <laughs> <laughs> God, you look like Ronald McDonald Lucille Ball's corpse then pushed it down a flight of stairs. <laughs> Holy shit. What's with all the surgery, Kathy? Lord, you've been stitched up thousands of times, but you're still sad to look at. You're like the AIDS quilt. <laughs> You've been in 40 films. The biggest movie star up here is Al Franken. <laughs> An OJ roast would have drawn more star power. <laughs> no Aykroyd, no Murray. You couldn't even have gotten any of those midgets you worked with in Under the Rainbow. They always brighten up a room. Bring down the midgets. We got booster seats. Right, Paul? <laughs> There's booster seats. <laughs> Where are the midgets? <laughs> You could have brought some midgets, the guys from Oz could have f***ed them, it would have been a party. <laughs> but tonight is not about midget f***ing. <laughs> you know him from Tough Crowd with Colin Quinn, and that's it. Please welcome <laughs> the virtually anonymous Greg Giraldo. Thank you, thank you everybody. Jimmy Kimmel, isn't he doughy? Really? <laughs> isn't, he doughy? isn't he Isn't he about to be canceled? Keep it going for, uh, <laughs> for Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> wow, that was, that was great, Jim. I've never seen you be funny on TV before. <laughs> <laughs> Corolla, look at you, you horse-toothed bastard. <laughs> Corolla, you got a mouthful of two-by-fours. Every... Every time you smile, I remember to waterproof my deck. <laughs> Corolla is an Italian word. It means one eyebrow. <laughs> Have some dignity and stick to radio. You look like Pete Sampras with Down syndrome. And, and I'm, uh, <laughs> the Love Lines. Only in America. What a crappy show The Love Lines is. Yeah, teenagers calling in to complain about their abortions and their anal warts. It's like listening to the messages on Andy Dick's answering machine. <laughs> now, uh, speaking, uh, speaking of anal warts, uh, good to see Courtney Love here. Uh, <laughs> Courtney, uh, what the hell happened to you? you? You had a great band, you're a very talented actress, and your career dried up faster than Sarah Silverman's pussy around guys who can't help her in the business. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, look at this pack of slobs up here. Gary Busey's here, kind of. <laughs> Gary. Yeah! Gary, I guess, flew in from Lobotomy Island. Jesus, Gary, you horse-faced lunatic. You look like, you look like Nick Nolte f***ed the Clydesdale. Your teeth look like a row of urinals. Look at yourself. Every time you talk, I want to piss in your mouth. And I don't know. My buddy uh, Nick DiPaolo's here. Nick, look at you, you big hunched-over guinea. You're like Fonzie with spina bifida. And Reno, it's great to see Toby Keith. Toby, I'm glad you could take time out from spitting on Mexicans to be here, Toby. Uh, Toby, you put the big in bigot. I loved your last song, Get Out of My Country, you camel jockey, wetback faggot <laughs> too. And Robin Quivers, Robin, you look like a syrup bottle. And 
Yeah, I don't mean to sound crass, but you must have an enormous p <laughs> You're like Aunt Vagina. Seriously. <laughs> Mario Cantone is here. <clears throat> Mario, you are one tiny loudmouth fairy. You're the only guy who takes a stepladder into a glory hole. You're <laughs> Your father must have been devastated when you came out of the cupboard. <laughs> finally, finally we get to comedy legend and irritating Jewish lady, Gilbert Gottfried is here, everybody. Huh? <laughs> Gilbert! Gilbert Holy shit, Gilbert, you look like you smell like pee. <laughs> and speaking of fact, <laughs> Hulk Hogan's here, everybody. How about that? Hulk! People say you're balding, balding. You're balding in the same way that Jeff Ross is fatting. <laughs> I can't imagine why your wife left you. You're an old man who dresses like a Hooters waitress. <laughs> keep, keep your shirt on, bitch tits. Ralphie May, of course, is here. Uh, Ralphie. Ralphie, you like the population of India. You're loud, sweaty, and double in size every year. <laughs> You're the only guy who watches porn and c when the guy delivers the pizza. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man, I got the hiccups. <laughs> and now uh, on to uh, Larry, the cable guy. This, this is exciting, I gotta tell you. I I've never roasted a fake character before. <laughs> Maybe next year we can roast SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> and. Whitney, Whitney Cummings is here for some reason. I, I guess, uh, I guess since Kathy and Joan have huge gay followings, we needed someone with no following. <laughs> Whitney, Whitney's a girl who obviously knows the answer to the question, hey, who do you have to blow to get on one of these roasts? <laughs> oh, that was so funny that I gave myself the hiccups <laughs> during it. It got him. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. That That's was funny. Really, really funny. Yeah. So, Andy Dick. Yeah. That was a funny bit. I actually met Andy Dick once, and it was when I, when I was in high school. And <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Guys, we don't edit this. Since I have hiccups, it's it's in. Yeah. <laughs> but you met Andy Dick. We met Andy Dick when I was on a high school field trip to New York City, and we were like. Hanging out in some like alleyway behind like some theater waiting for like I think that like, is where you and me yeah. Andy Dick. <laughs> and we were like waiting for like Hugh Jackman to come out or something like that. And Andy Dick comes around the corner and he's like, "Oh hey guys, want to come to this party with us?" And we're we're like, "No, <laughs> this is Andy Dick. This is like in 2003." But oh my god, Andy Dick. <laughs> This guy though, that was fucking hilarious. Do you know how he died? I, I don't. I, I don't remember, but... No, I want to assume drugs. Drugs, I, I honestly, I don't remember, but 2010, if you, like, he died 10 years ago. Like, I actually thought it was like maybe two or three years ago. I can't believe it's been 10 years, but he was an absolute roasting legend. Like, the, the two, when I used to watch the roast, I would watch for obviously Jeff Ross, because Jeff Ross is awesome. There's, yeah. a, there's a few good... Gilbert Godfrey's a good roaster as well. I haven't but, seen that. Um, something to check out. But uh, yeah, Greg was like phenomenal, phenomenal roaster. But that was uh, really good. well, it was Greg one, Adam nothing. <laughs> he he laughs hard to give him the hiccups though. Yeah. But that's funny. I stuff. still have the hiccups. But uh, <laughs> guys, please leave some comments down below. Link us some uh, videos that you want us to react to. And Ryan, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs>